Okay, we've got the finish on it. Um, came out very nice. You can see just as shiny and slick and smooth. It, it really um, just paste wax. I brought out all the colors of the wood. Um, what I'm going to do now is put the plug in the one inch hole that, that I had uh, made. It was the way I mounted it to the lathe. Um, I've got the plug right here. I had used a one inch plug cutter cut out a plug of the same type of wood that the bottom is, which I don't know what it is. I hope somebody tells me. But I'm going to uh, tap this in, the, glue it, tap it down in the hole, and um, then we can finish the bottom of the bowl and we'll be finished. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and I'll be back. Okay, we're getting down to the final steps of it. Um, I've mounted my bowl with the top uh, in my one-way chuck with the mini jumbo jaws expanding from the outside against the, the inside rim of the bowl here. Uh, it looks like it's on pretty straight. I'm going to turn off this. This is the bottom part of the plug and also I'm going to try to cup out the bottom of the bowl so it'll sit evenly. Oh, it looks like it's very, very close. Close enough for me. And uh, you don't want to go too fast when you have the bowl of uh, anything mounted to the jumbo jaws because it's just rubber pegs that are holding it. Um, so we're just going to go very gently here on this plug. Try not to shake the bowl loose because that would be a tragedy and I don't want that to happen. Just a matter of turning this plug flat, cupping out the bottom of the bowl, and then we'll finish the inside by sanding it on the with the power sander. Vibration scares me. I hope it don't fall out. I'd be upset. I might even cry. No, I wouldn't cry. Not over that. I about got it done anyway. Put a cup on the inside of the bag. I like to turn stuff fast, but I'm scared to turn it too fast. Take your time. Take your time. That is pretty cool. Looks like spirals. All right. While I'm doing this, I'm going to let y'all rest, and I'll come back. Okay. I'm finished with the bottom of the bowl. I put a cup in it, and uh, this is the plug that I put in. You can you can tell it's there, but yeah, I mean you can't feel it, but you know it's. I know it's there. And I guess you can tell by looking that it's there. But let's see if you can see the cup on it. A little bit. Yeah, you can see. Just enough so that it'll, when it sits, it'll sit flat on the rim here. All right, we're going to dismount it. And then the final step is sanding off the inside where the plug is and getting the bottom smooth and flat. And we'll come back and I'll show you how I do that. 
Okay, I've got my drill press. Actually, it's a shop smith, but it works just fine. Uh, in the drill press mode, I've got my sanded disc on here, and what I'm going to do is turn it on, and I don't know if you can see the bottom of this one, but I've got to sand all of this off here, sand it flat and smooth. All I've got to do is hold it up under here like this, go around it. Uh, it makes very nice sanding in there, and then I'll show you the finished project. We're almost getting done here. It's been a long day, but we're up to the challenge. Okay, here's the finished project. Um, seven and a half inches tall by ten and a half inches across. Um, I bet I probably have maybe 15 to 20 hours in on it, but a lot of that time is um, spent watching glue dry. And, uh, and even, even if it wasn't, it's not work. It's fun. Anybody that does woodworking knows that. But this is the a close up of it. Green is spectacular. And the inside, you can see where I sanded it. See the plug in the, the center of it. The dowels that are in there. Or oak plugs. But anyway, I appreciate everybody watching. Uh, I'll be making more videos, I'm sure. If there's anything anybody wants to see me make or try to make, let me know. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.